This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom 100,000 blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm just as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and Farlands or Bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trix here, and welcome to the 100,000 block journey! We're here in our little humble abode in the Shire, as you can not really see through this little purple window, but uh, this is our little bedroom with our little uh, little closet. But this is the 100,000 block journey. I've tried to hype this up as much as possible, and it is finally here. So, there's a chest there. Uh, we are in the Shire. It is a custom Minecraft map I downloaded. There will be a link to it in the description. It is quite beautiful and quite nice. This is obviously Bag End, where Bilbo Baggins, the resident hobbit, lives. And uh, if you look around, it's got a festival going on, presumably Bilbo's birthday party. Um, some uh, other hobbit holes, it looks like, off in the distance. I haven't explored those. But then there's Bag End up here on the hill, and of course it is the nicest hobbit hole in the Shire. Where has the music gone? Uh, stuff's on. So, yeah, there's a there's been a little delivery from somebody to us. Uh, Gandalf or Dory or Ori Gloin or Oin or Thorn or somebody. They left us a little little gift. We have some uh, some stuff in this chest. We've got some uh, basic elvish armor. We have Sting, our old pal. We have the Ring of Power. We've got some iron. We've got a pickaxe. Got some mutton. Have a bed, some uh, wood, and a compass. All this presumably for our little adventure where we are going to go against everything canon and as Bilbo destroy the Ring of Power in the fires of Mount Doom with no companions. I know, I know, I, yeah, I'm dressed as Bilbo, but this is all I could think of when I thought of a when I thought of a quest for Bilbo to do. So we've got all this stuff, and we have our armor. We need to set out east. A uh, hundred thousand blocks. I believe the coordinates are a hundred thousand or my uh, something x hundred thousand y, um, and yeah. minus four or whatever. So yeah, um, we have all our stuff. We have our compass. Uh, I'm just going to go offline in Steam real quick because messages and Skype and such. All right, so we're ready to begin our journey. We have our bed, our wood, our mutton. Our iron, uh, that looks like we have everything we need, and we need to head east. I tried to make it so that we need to head north, but I messed up, and we actually need to head east. So let's just walk along this little path. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a horse, because that'll make our job a lot easier. But um, we might not be able to. We'll need a saddle and some sugar for that. So let's uh, just start walking. We have 100,000 blocks to walk. And yeah, this. Uh, oh, there's a path here going somewhere. Oh, th there's a house there. Is that Bjorn's house? Because the map said there was a Bjorn's house. Uh, this little section of the world was just dropped into another, in uh, a new Minecraft world along with the copy of Mount Doom. So yeah, there's going to be this drop off, which we're, we're going to need to look out for. Uh, find a safe way to drop off. There we go. But yeah, this is the Hobbit map. I'll link that in the description, of course. This is also the Hobbiton Texture Pack, which was with the map as well. Is this a... No, this is not a dungeon. Uh, which was with the map as well that I am using, so that will also be linked. And then, of course, Shaders Mod. Not going to link that. You can find that yourself. But Shaders Mod does make everything look quite gorgeous, if I do say so myself. I mean, look at this water. Yeah, once we get to Mount Doom, I will... Um, show you guys that as well because it is quite quite awesome we have encountered our first body of water so we are going to need to make a boat and we're going to use a boat a lot i believe because there's probably going to be a lot of water between here and a hundred thousand blocks away so uh let's set sail even though that's something they never really did in the hobbit they did use a boat one time and that was in just forgot the name just forgot the name Merkwood. 
in Mirkwood when they had to cross that river and they had to use the boat. If they didn't use the boat and they swam in the river, they'd be cast into an eternal sleep. And that happened to one of the doors, Oin or Gloin or Ori or Nori or Dory or something. It happened to one of the uh, dwarves. Spoiler alert, by the way, forgot to say that. If you haven't read The Hobbit, what are you doing? Why are you watching my channel? You don't know what hobbits are. Well, you probably do because they're such a, such a staple in the world today. Lord of the Rings has caused such a legacy. But, yeah, um, Hobbit, fa my, ho my, The Hobbit is my favorite book. If you haven't read it, I suggest you do, but yeah, that was a slight spoiler. So, we are using a boat. It is canon, and it is kind of in the, in the Hobbit that they use boats. So, yeah, although there was no mention of the Ring of Power. No, there is mention of the Ring of Power, because, because Bilbo gets the Ring of Power. That's a crucial plot point, and I nearly just forgot it, but we are coming up on some land here. Uh, this might just be an island. I'm going to sail around it in case it is just an island. But it could be a mainland. No, no. It looks like it is just an island. I'm not going to... Oh, no. It might actually be mainland. Huh. I'm not going to press F3 for a little while. Maybe on episode... F maybe every five episodes or so, I'll press F3 and see where we are in our uh, journey. But for now, I'm not going to do that. So, we are still just sailing... Looking out for those squids. One second, guys. All right, and we're back, uh, and we are on our track, sailing, sailing, sting out, just in case we encounter any any squids. Gosh, I really hope this water, or this episode, isn't just sailing, because I want to do some walking. Come on, let me walk. Let's hit a mainland soon. I don't want this to just be ocean. Dang, so much water. So so much water. Is there more water or stone in Minecraft? I wonder, uh, probably some smart guy has figured out the exact amounts and whether or not there's more. Uh, looks like some land, but that just looks like another island. There, So there is land, and we are coming up on some. So I'm going to get out and walk this, because it does look fairly big. So let's just uh, break our boat, if we can. Uh, how do we... Oh no, come back! Come back! Come back! I need you! Come here, come here. Come on, come on. Da -na 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 -na. Break the boat, where'd it go? Did we get it? Where'd it go? Oh no, do we have to go to the bottom? Okay. Uh, in true Hobbit fashion, we are now swimming towards the bottom of the ocean. We didn't find our boat, so we'll just have to make another one. But this looks like a fairly big island that we can walk across. Anyways. There are some floating blocks. We're going to need some place to sleep. Are there sheep on this island? Uh, ooh, that's a cave. Looks we have plenty of iron. Uh oh, yes, good. This is there is more walking space. This is a this might be a mainland. This might be um a continent or something or a small small nation or it could just be a big island. Technically everything's a big island in in real life. Technically everything's a big island cuz they're just all surrounded by water, aren't they? Like, the U.S. is just a big island. And Florida is just part of a big island. And Cuba's an island. Why are there some random seeds here? Oh, well, that's interesting. Did, um... Did, a uh, World Generation mess up? I don't know. Uh, it is getting dark. So I think... I think what we're going to do is we're just going to travel for one day at a time. For, uh... And it, it'll, it won't be episodes, it'll be by days, so that's what it'll do. But yeah, this looks like a mainland, which is good, so now we have some walking, which is exciting. But yeah, the sun is setting, we should go find a place to build our first miniature hobbit hole to spend the night in. Are those sheep? Oh good, there's sheep right there. Okay, good. I can get some wool to make more beds. The series is probably going to be a lot like Farlands or Bust, and I'm fine with that. Torches would have been a good idea. Probably should have complained to uh, Gandalf to add those to the little uh, care package that he left us. You guys going to give me any more wool? Come on, I know you want to. Come on, oh, this one's going to go eat. Is he? Come on, go eat. Quickly, sun is setting. Eat! He's not eating. Okay, we're just going to have to move on and find more sheep some other time. Okay. So let's uh, find a nice place to dig a little hobbit hole. I didn't get a shovel. I can craft one, though, if I need to. Oh, 
Twilight looks so beautiful in shaders. I, I really like the shaders. Okay, but we're going to have to dig our hobbit hole right here. Don't have any torches. Slight problem. But anyways, we'll just go through here to dig ourselves a nice little hobbit hole where we can put our bed. Kind of like a Kirchy Mac. Kinda, kinda. Not really. Hopefully, hopefully this isn't too much like it. But I should put a door on this so that we don't get invaded by any uh, any orcs or elves or orc elves because orcs used to be elves I believe I haven't read the Silmarillion I want to I'm going to read the Silmarillion I just haven't gotten to yet so let's just put that there and build ourselves a door uh, just like this we can probably build a furnace we'll probably do that right now actually we'll probably build the furnace yes yes I'm going to have to consult somebody about that, though, first. But, yeah, let's just get a furnace real quick so that we can make some torches. Okay, there we go. Furnace. Just put it down. Put... Yeah, we can put four in there. And then that will smelt it for a little bit. Along with that, we'll just put five uh, pieces of wood in there so that we can make some torches. Um... Let's uh, fill this back up, because I don't want to be carrying too much unnecessary stuff with me, if I can help it. Alright, let's, uh, let's make some sticks real quick, and then we'll end off this episode of this day of um, the 100,000 block journey. Every five episodes or so, we will see how far along we have come. But for now, I'm not going to hit F3, I'm not going to do it off camera either. So, uh, just hold me to that, I won't do it. Let's put down, uh, we should dig that out if we wanted to. Yeah, we'll have to, actually. Oh, but we can't dig out that block. Actually, we can. We just have to fill it back in. No, we don't. I messed up. I messed up. Dang it. Oh, gosh. We have to add blocks around like this and fill in the roof. Like so. So we can have a nice, uh, three block high little structure building house here. Alright, just dig this out, and we will be golden to go to sleep. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Make the torches real quick, put up this dirt. Carrying unnecessary blocks around, but I won't be carrying them around all the time. Just sometimes, in these doors. But yeah, uh, we are ready to go to sleep, so that is the end of day one of the 100,000 block journey. If you guys like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content like this. Um, if you're liking the series so far, it'd be great if you could really just comment or like the video as well. So anyways guys, thanks for watching, I will see you all next time, goodbye!